Mizzou was looking for a resume win late in the 2013 season when fifth-ranked Florida came to Mizzou Arena. The Tigers fell behind big early, but mounted a comeback. Time running out again. Four on the shot clock. Bell goes straight up from three-point land and got it. Big shot right there. Comes into the front court. Pressy top of the key, flipping the Bowers left side of the lane, puts it up and in, and a blocking foul against Florida. Throws it in, block right, Bowers comes to reverse, flip it up, good. Fouled by Patrick Young on the reverse layup. Boy, and a nice thing that Lawrence Bowers did, he took his time. Long ball by Brown, and he got it. Jabari Brown, great range, his first three of the night. I said earlier, if they get it down to four or less before halftime, they'd be awfully happy after being down 11 on a couple of occasions. Here's Bell. Ring it up. The Tigers indeed trailed by just three at the half thanks to Bell's steal and score. But the deficit swelled back to 12 and then 13 points midway through the second half. That's when Mizzou's shooting heated up. Six seconds on the shot clock. Jabari Brown way out. Got it. Big shot by Brown. Driving Pressy to the right baseline. Top of the key, Ross, open three. Hangs it home. Missouri cuts the lead to seven. With the lead down to just five, Phil Pressy made the play of the night. Pressy, a steal. The outlet to Bell. Bell found the basket again. A 10-0 Tiger run. You know, I was just telling, telling, uh, telling the guys we've been down before. We've been, we've been here before. So, uh, you know, although we were down 12 late in the game, it, it was, it was, it wasn't like the game was over. So I just let them know that we, you know, we had that faith and we had to believe and we had to make effort plays and we're going to win the game. And that's what we are trying to do. Bill Pressley does a good job of always tracing the ball with his hands. He's a low defender, and his, his hands are always around the basketball. Missouri has never led in the game. Pressy right side to the block, dumps it inside. Bowers for the mess. It's a one-point Florida lead, a 12-0 Missouri run. Florida kept a tenuous grasp on the lead, but Mizzou would throw together another furious run with just about three minutes to play. Brown, three, got it! His third triple of the night, one point game, three minutes to go. Boynton tries to answer. Rimmed out a three, Bell with a rebound. Here comes Pressy on the run. All the way for the lead. The first lead of the night for Missouri. And then the building gets electric. And from that point on, it's Phil Pressy doing what Phil Pressy does. Florida answered right back when Scotty Wilbekin drained a step back three to give the Gators a one point lead. But Mizzou turned to its most experienced player, the fan favorite, Lawrence Bowers. Free throw line for Bowers, catches right elbow, 15 footer, made it, Missouri's got the lead, 61-60. Always just staying together, you know, that's all we kept saying in the huddle, stay together, stay together, and believe. Up by one, the Tigers needed a stop. Wilbekin gives it a point, he's gonna take a three. Rimmed it out, Murphy got a hand on it. Missouri's got the ball in the lead with 3.1. Keon Bell coolly knocked down a couple of free throws to push Mizzou's lead to three, and the Tigers needed one more defensive stand to hold on. Left corner, Rosario, a three, air ball. Missouri upsets Florida. And, you know, everybody believed that we were gonna win the game, and it happened. A huge come from behind win for the Tigers of Missouri, who still have not lost at home this year.